Hi Jason, uh, myself Girija Shankar and uh, I have done my B.Tech from my hometown uh, Bikaner uh, from Engineering College Bikaner in Instrumentation Branch and uh, in my B.Tech like I have done projects in like to implement a single cycle and multi cycle risk processor and after that I appeared for the gate exam and then got the IIT Mandi and uh, done my mtech in vlsi in my mtech my main project was on the encryption and decryption algorithms uh, on the fpga no it is not the part of the ctc but uh, there is a employee purchase plan uh, something like that so uh, employee of the cadence company can purchase the shares of the cadence at a discounted price is uh, for the uh, product validation engineer post so uh, mostly i prepared for the uh, digital domain and uh, uh, basics of the digital and uh, verilog and uh, vsdl languages and uh, some of the other uh, high level programming languages i have studied mainly the interview uh, they will ask like uh, basic questions as uh, this is for the digital domain they didn't ask any analog questions only questions asked were only for digital and related to programming they can also ask c language questions or python whichever language but at least they will ask if you know any other programming languages yes based on the job profile like uh, this is for the product validation engineer post so it is required that uh, we know some of the uh, programming languages and uh, experience in the linux environment also so that's why they will ask there were no uh, not an, any specific questions regarding the uh, cadence tools because this job profile is not related to that but uh, uh, absolutely the projects also helped me a lot for preparing for the interview and i have used the virtuoso and layout tools from the cadence in my mtech there were uh, three technical rounds for the interview and uh, in the first round of the interview they just asked the basic questions uh, regarding uh, all over the field like they they can ask uh, uh, questions about the digital and the projects i have done they asked about the uh, basic digital gates how basic gates works and how to convert uh, one gate into other like uh, how we can uh, make a and gate using multiplexer something like that there were not any specific questions related to setup and hold time but uh, they asked about uh, glitches how uh, glitches in the digital circuit works and they specifically asked to make a circuit which can create a glitch there were uh, questions from uh, very log programming languages like uh, they asked to, to make a, a circuit for the counter and uh, basic d flip flop and uh, how structures in the very log works and uh, the fork and join statements in mtech my main project is on the encryption and decryption process on fpga so i i worked on that i i made a rtl design for uh, encryption and de decryption algorithm and uh, on the fpga and tested it on the hardware in the winter project uh, we haven't done anything on the hardware but uh, we have uh, given a big project uh, related to artificial intelligence so we uh, worked and studied for the uh, hardware accelerator for the ai and uh, image processing in the second round the, uh, like um, in the first round there were basic questions related to digital in the second round they asked uh, like uh, details detailed questions in the very log like uh, they have given me some questions to write the program very log code for that uh, programs they asked uh, how to write the a code for the d flip flop counters and uh, frequency divider how they works and different styles to write the same code like uh, they have asked about the behavioral code as well as the uh, gate level code 
all three interviews were 40 to 45 minutes or so up to one hour long and is uh, one to one interview only but all three interview with different people and all interviews were on the uh, microsoft teams they will ask about the uh, projects so, like uh, whatever you have uh, given in the resume they will uh, ask about everything like i have written in the resume that i have done projects on fpga and other things so they asked detailed questions on the fpga and other things there is no difficulty but like in instrumentation we read about the uh, uh, like uh, basics of every subject so in vlsi uh, detailed uh, topics for everything like cmos is covered in uh, details but uh, in instrumentation it was not covered in details so uh, initially we have to work hard but it is not very difficult Our interview was uh, very short and very formal. They will ask you just uh, like uh, introduction. They ask about uh, like uh, tell about yourself, and uh, then they will uh, give the details of the post. And there is not too many questions in HR round. Uh, we can focus on the basics like uh, in whatever field or whatever uh, topic they will ask uh, like uh, most of the questions is from the uh, basics only see i mean like uh, whatever you learn in the first year of mtech uh, that is covered in basic things like uh, in digital you can say setup time hold time vtc car all all of these things are like basic things like uh, they will ask about how a uh, flip flop works like uh, they will not ask about the big circuits but uh, simple circuit and their working and in the verilog they will ask uh, basic verilog constructs and how how you program the simple things in uh, verilog uh, i have also appeared in the interview for the nvidia from bangalore and uh, also the silicon labs from hyderabad for the nvidia like uh, they are interested for the people who knows about the microprocessors and other things so uh, that interview didn't go very well because they asked question from the microprocessor how microprocessor works like uh, these things and so i haven't prepared for that for the silicon labs uh, like uh, it was uh, suddenly they called and i was not uh, prepared for that interview and uh, all three rounds of the interview happened in only in single day so uh, that was not gone very well so i was not selected in that Basically, I have started to apply in the company in the month of May 2021. So after that, like I have applied in many companies like uh, Intel, Qualcomm, Nvidia, and other companies like Silicon Labs. Some of them for uh, for that I have appeared in the return test, which was not uh, went very well. no because i don't want to uh, go on internship and i i wanted to work on the project in the college itself so i never applied for any of the these opportunities